Hey guys, I'm Jay Price. So in this video, now that we got Geepa set up, we're going to talk about using it. Um, and then in the in the final video, we're going to talk about some different use cases. So um, be sure that you check that one out. All right, so this is the setup page and be sure that you have your API key pasted in here. In the last video, we talked about how to get that. You can just click on this link right there. Um, uh, uh, periodically, you want to come to the category referral fee chart to make sure that all of your percentages uh, for your referral fees uh, are accurate and up to date, but I just did this uh, as of today, so you should be good. Um, and yeah, so we're now that we're set up. All right, so let's go to the product tab. And just as a reminder, you don't want to change the name of these two uh, tabs right here, as well as the um, the names of these header column headers up here. Um, and so what we're going to do is I have a list of basins. And you don't have to keep with this format. I just formatted it the way that I like. Um, but I, I kind of wanted to slant them up a little bit to save some space. Um, so we're going to paste ASINs in column A. And then we're going to hit this get new products data. And so as you can see, it's going to begin to run the script. Um, if you haven't already um, allowed uh, Geepa to use um, certain permissions in your Google account, you'll want to do that. And let me shrink myself so I'm not all up in your face you can see what's going on all right so um it's it's got through the data how many asins did we have uh total of 45 um and so it's going to pull through all of these asins it'll, it'll pull through the the drops and the sales rank and the current buy box stuff like that as well as the graph um what you want to do is before so i i knew that i wanted a 365 day graph but if you only wanted a seven day graph or a 90 day graph, you need to set that first before you hit get new data. Um, and um, it it just won't be reflect, if you change that to 180 from 365, it won't show it unless you clear this out, go through, repaste the ASINs. Um, it's not, uh, in other words, this is not dynamic. This is a static reference. Um, so now the data should be in. And I wanted to show you something. So sometimes ASINs get dog pages. And so if I were to take this ASIN here and um, let's see. All right, yeah, so let's copy this ASIN. So let me show you what I mean. So if we go to Amazon.com forward slash, uh, what is it, DP forward slash, and then paste the ASIN, this ASIN no longer exists. And so, um, th therefore, Keepa isn't recording the data anymore. So that's what that error reads. Uh, so just in case that you see that. Um, and that's pretty much it. And, and what you can do here is, it, let's just say you wanted to, I don't know why I didn't paste those at the very top. That's annoying. But whatever. Um, let me just, I, actually, it actually serves the, this purpose. So if I wanted to clear the data, uh, it'll ask you just to confirm. Say, yes, I want to clear this data. And then I'm going to repaste my ASINs in the right way Boom. and I will get new product data um, and then this update products so this is going to be it'll, it'll it will refer to uh, this box here so how many days old should an ASIN be before updating and so what that means is if this was, let's just say this is 1118, this is set to five days. And so we're going to we're gonna make this ASIN six days old. We're just going to change the date and timestamp. So that once this finishes running, I'll show you what I mean. Um, uh, because it's going to be the only one in this list that updates because it's at least five days old. So it's e equal to or greater than this number uh, in this box right here. And let me increase that. All right, so the script is now running. Now what I'm going to do is hit update products, and it's only going to update this. And and it'll it'll pull in all the fresh data. Of course, nothing changed because we just pulled it. Um, and, and the reason for that is you only have a certain number of tokens that you can refresh at any given time, uh, depending on what plan that you subscribe to with Keepa. And so I wanted a way to control that. And honestly, you don't need fresh data every single day for some of these ASINs, um, depending on what you're doing. You may, but I, I don't think that the, the, the normal user does. And so um, we got our ASINs in here, and let's see, let's fix that back. All right, so now, as you can see, we have the, the graphs over here, 
uh, and this is the one year graph and and some of you you might have to resize your graph and i'll show you that here uh now so if you uh, you can resize a, a a column two ways uh both horizontally so your uh um your your width and your um oh my goodness i'm just blanking let's just see what it says so if you right click it and hit resize column uh this these graphs come in at 600 by 188 um so this is 600 pixels wide and so you hit okay and then what you can do here is resize the row and it's going to be the height that's the word i was blanking on uh and 188 pixels tall or, or in the height and then that will perfectly fit this graph you can make it however you want the graph unfortunately only comes in in those um uh, 600 by 188 and i think that's plenty enough to, uh to, to pretty much see what something is doing um other than that guys that's all i have to show you as far as setting up um we're going to talk about use cases here in the next video and I've, as always if you have any questions hit me up at j at have a good one